This is the Legion Go. This is a neat gaming handheld device that has a Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor, an AMD Radeon Graphics 12, 16 gigs of RAM. This version only has a 512 gigabyte 2242 SSD inside. It has an IPS display, which is 8.8 .8 inch. On this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the original 512 SSD that's inside with a traditional 2280 full size M.2 SSD. So the benefits of upgrading the memory on your Legion Go is, for most obvious reasons, is um, having more games installed. So if you've got Xbox Game Pass and Steam games, you can install way more games than a 512 can hold. You can also make a partition, make one terabyte of storage free for Bazite. So you can do a um, dual boot to Bazite or dual boot to a Linux base. Um, operating system if you would like and the reason why I'm choosing the 2280 SSD is because I already had one lying around which was used on my Asus ROG Ally so I thought this spare might be useful in the Legion Go I did have to buy adapter to make this work and there's some modifications on the back plate but we'll get to that point later on in the video there are a couple of things that you would need before we do the upgrade so you will need a M.2 NVMe USB enclosure. This one right here is unbranded but it does have two sides to it. It has a traditional USB-A and on the other side it has a USB-C connection. So I'm going to need that to connect to the Legion Go. And this is to clone the 512 drive that's already inside the Legion Go. The software that we're using to do that is Macrium Reflect and that's the free version where it has the ability to clone the drive one to one so you can clone all the partitions and expand your memory so I'm using a two terabyte it will expand the um, Windows OS uh, partition or you can just clone the 512 how it is and then you'll have the additional space on another partition before you choose the traditional 2280 m.2 drive make sure that it is a single-sided m.2 drive the reason being is because if you get a double-sided one or one with a heatsink already inside, so ones that go onto a PS5, etc., they typically have a heatsink already installed and this will not fit into your Legion Go. There isn't much room on the backplate to um, fit a double-sided one. Another thing to consider is how much the SSD draws power. So the power consumption of the MP600 Core XT is around 4.1 watts, which is below the threshold of the Legion Go's 6 watt power consumption of the NVMe slot. If you end up getting a SSD that has a power consumption of around 6 watts or above, then you're going to run into heat issues. So the SSD is going to be very hot. So you may come across the blue screen of death, the system crashing because it's overheating because again the Legion Go only has a single fan and the thermals aren't too great compared to some other handhelds. So you need to make sure that your SSD is below the 6 watt power consumption before you do this upgrade. The one that I'm currently using is the MP600 Core XT and this is made by Corsa and so far I haven't had any issues. The other crucial thing that you need is the NVMe 2242 to 2280 extension card and this supports PCIe 4.0 which the current card that I'm using the MP600 Core XT should support PCI 4.0 and this adapter is made by a company called Syntec. You can get other unbranded adapter cards that look like this but I have no experience with them so I can't tell you if they give you the right speeds or if the thermals are any good. So just be aware that I am using this Syntec one and I have no idea how all the other adapters work. And I'm sure they work just the same as this one, but I did pay a bit more for this. I think I paid about 17 pounds. This does come with insulation tape and a thermal pad, which some others may not come with. So just be aware of that. Here are the tools that you need to open the Legion Go. So we need a Phillips Head Zero screwdriver, some pry tools, 
preferably plastic pry tools just to prevent scratching of the back plate. I'm going to use both but I'm going to be super careful when I open up the back. Some wire cutters and this is to modify the back plate to make sure that the SSD fits in. And I just got some pliers just to help me pull some of the cables out or if I need any of the tabs lifting up this will help. I also have some tweezers and this little knife, little craft knife here. This is to again help me just um, break some of the plastic off but I might not need this. I probably have too many things that I need but just in case I need these tools I have all of these ready. The first step what we need to do is disassemble the back plate. Um, so just put like a microfiber cloth or some kind of cloth for the Legion Go to sit on so it won't scratch the screen. We need to make sure that the system is turned off before we open it and also detach the controllers on the side. So before we do the upgrade I'm just going to show you what I did with Macrium Reflect and this is version 8.0. This is the free version where I mentioned about cloning the SSD complete one-to-one -one clone and we have options to also just clone the 512 and keep the other partition free if you want to because sometimes it's good to have like a D drive to put all your games and stuff game installs and whatnot the process is pretty simple it looks more daunting than it actually is so all you have to do is make sure that you put your SSD into the enclosure I've connected it with via USB-C and I formatted my um, Corsa 2 terabyte and I made sure to use this part to clean any partitions on the drive and I formatted this to NTFC matching the same as the 512 that's on the Legion Go. Once you connect it up the drive should appear at the bottom saying destination. You'll be able to see disk 1 GPT is the um, primary internal drive of the Legion Go and you'll see a option that says clone this disk. We want to hit that option it will prompt you to drag partitions to the destination disk but we want to click on copy partitions and here we have the option to copy the exact partition offset and length or we can choose to shrink or extend to fill the target disk. So in my case I want to keep everything on the C drive so I'm going to choose the second option shrink or extend to fill the target disk and it's going to um, copy all the exact partitions as well as the C drive and it's automatically going to give me the extra space that I need. There are more partition options that you can choose from, but I'm just going to hit continue because this is all that I need to do. So hit next and then it'll prompt you for backup save options. I'm just going to make sure run this backup now selected and save as a backup definition file. Once you hit next, it will start to um, copy the partition and this does take a couple of hours, even though it's only 512 that it's copying. This took me about two hours or three hours even though it's just copying 512 gigabytes this does take a while so make sure you just leave everything on it should just clone everything and it doesn't need to go into safe mode like the old times i remember doing this a long time ago and having to um boot from um, a usb stick and do it from safe mode but this seems to copy everything as it is even though the windows is still running so once it's done, you can actually check whether or not it's cloned the disk correctly. So just remove the adapter and plug it into your PC and just see if all the files and partitions are there before you um, do this upgrade. Once you've taken the controllers off, make sure you take out the SD card as well. Flip the Go face forward and there'll be six screws on either side, three on each side of the back plate. And remove those screws with the Phillips head screwdriver. Once the screws are off, Use the plastic pry tool and just work your way around the device to try and pop off some of the clips. I find it the easiest to start from the bottom, that's where it was exposed the most. And just work your way around using a different pick or a different pry tool to um, leave the latches open. If this is the first time you're opening the Legion Go, then this can be quite tricky. Make sure you don't scratch the device and just go slowly when you try and open it. You'll hear the um, clips pop off. Once a couple of them have popped off, it's actually quite easy just to um, pop the back plate open. I keep accidentally pressing the power button. I kept turning the device on when I tried to pry this open, but just be wary of the uh, power button at the top there. So I managed to pop this open, no problems at all. And 
just by looking at the fan I think I'm just gonna give this a clean because it's quite filthy the singular heat sink fan can gather dust quite easily using a brush I can easily just remove some of that dirt from the fan now that we have a nice clean fan I can now go ahead and disconnect the power supply of this unit so locate the battery connector right here first I'm going to remove the insulating tape that's covering the battery connector removing the connector can be quite tricky um, you can use your fingernails but I'm using some tweezers to try and pull down the tab so pull it down make sure it's like facing towards you and it should just easily come off so right next to the battery we can remove the single screw that's securing the SSD in place gently lift up the SSD and then pull it towards you to remove it we don't need to remove the foil that's covering the SSD because we'll have our own insulation tape and thermal pads to uh, put on the new adapter I'll insert the SSD adapter into the slot it should just fit perfectly Attach the screw so the adapter doesn't wiggle out of place and stick on the blue thermal padding right in the middle of the adapter before you put your SSD in. Now the Legion Go is a heavier unit compared to some other handheld PCs. Uh, this weighs in at 854 grams so be aware that once you do the um, 2280 SSD mod upgrade then um, this will be slightly heavier as you can see here with the adapter and the 2280 SSD weighed together weighs roughly around 111 grams while just the 2242 SSD by itself only weighs 43 grams so it's only a minuscule difference but you know sometimes 30 grams will make a difference on the handheld PC that you're going to play for like a couple of hours Once the adapter is in place, just install the M.2 into the adapter. Make sure it's properly aligned before you put the insulated cover back on. Make sure you connect the battery connector and just slide it back in and it should just be okay. Just make sure it's all aligned. Once that's done, just stick the black tape back on. Now we still just have one more thing to do before we can put the back plate on, but I'm just gonna show you. If you try to put the back plate on right now, you can see there will be like a seam. It wouldn't be flush. You won't be able to properly close it and a bit of the plastic on the back plate will press into the SSD. So this could cause an issue in the future. The location of where we need to cut into the back plate is on the right side, bottom right side. So once you flip it over, you will see like something that looks like a screw hole, but it's actually not. It's kind of sticking out. And next to that is like a little cross, a bit of plastic that looks like a cross. And they're right next to this conductive sponge. So what we need to do using our wire cutters is just slowly trim off Bit of the plastic so they're not sticking out too much and just give it a wiggle don't go too aggressive with the wire cutters after a bit of wiggling i eventually got rid of the circle bit of plastic i just completely got rid of it you can also sand it down once you've um, taken bits of the plastic off because it's going to be a little bit rough the plastic is quite brittle so that's why you want to go slowly with this um, but once you get it off it should be okay to put the back plate on and you shouldn't have an issue with it not fitting in so the last thing that i need to do is just put back the little bit of conductive tape back onto the battery connector and now it's just a matter of snapping the back plate back onto the legion go before i put all the screws back in i am going to test if this is registering my two terabyte SSD. So to turn the device back on, what you need to do is press the power button and the volume up plus button together. Hold it for a good like couple minutes because this does take a while to reboot because once you take the battery out, it loses all the memory plus the added new hardware as well. It's gonna take a while to boot back up, but don't worry, it will turn back on. And once it does, it will go into the Legion Go's BIOS menu. So choose BIOS Setup once you're in the boot menu. And then click Advanced Settings. 
and as you can see the Legion Go is now reading the new NVMe SSD. Now that's confirmed we can turn the device off, save the changes and put all the screws back on. The last thing that I do need to check is whether or not Windows has successfully cloned onto this new drive. So I'm just going to reboot the device and let it load just to see if it loads into Windows 11. Hopefully it does because if it doesn't then I'm going to have to put the original SSD in and then try and do the cloning process again but if this loads successfully then I don't have to do anything I can just put it back together now. So let's boot up into Windows fingers crossed and there we go look it seems like everything is there but I'm gonna just double check under disk management and just check if all the partitions are present everything looks all good and now I'm just gonna turn it off again and put everything back my only concern with this upgrade now is checking the temperature of the SSD slot so I'm just going to boot up Shivery 2, have a little blast on it and just see how hot this device gets. So enjoy some Shivery 2 gameplay. That was about 10 minutes of gameplay and I'm going to use HW Info program to check the temperatures of the NVMe slot, GPU and CPU as well. And I actually got pretty good results using the Corsair MP600 Core XT. I'm getting a maximum temperature of 50 Celsius and the lowest is like 48. This is a drastic improvement from the other 2242 that was already installed. I was getting a lot higher readings than this. Mind you, it is the winter here and the settings I'm using is performance mode with medium graphical settings. I did have this on battery mode as well, so maybe having it plugged in will um, increase the temperature. But again, I did clean the fan out and the fan was super dirty, so that might have helped a lot of these um, temperature readings. So there we go, that is how you upgrade your Legion Go with a 2280 full-sized M.2 SSD. It is the most affordable upgrade compared to buying a 2230 because a 2TB 2280 is a lot cheaper for the gigs that you get. And I'm so happy that I can just install more games than like 3 or 4 massive ones onto this SSD. I have so much more room to um, play emulators and um, Bazite if I wanted to. But yeah, so if you do have any questions then you can always comment down below. And thanks for watching and I'll see you again on another video.